Hello YouTube world, thanks for joining me today. I'm in my car, headed to run and do a few errands, so I thought a perfect opportunity to talk to all of you. And I was tagged by a fellow YouTube channel, SD Mountain Man, to do a bucket list challenge. I don't know if he wanted me to do a 2020 bucket list challenge or just my actual bucket list challenge. And it's easier for me to do the 2020 bucket list challenge, so that's what I'm going to do. These are some items that I'm wanting to get done. They're on my list for the year 2020. And he was tagged by Giddy Up Gal Gypsy Adventures. So if you haven't checked her channel out, go do so. Same way with SD Mountain Man. But the first thing on my list is to get some good fencing put up so I can get some goats. I've had goats in the past and I always had fairly decent fence but it always seemed like there was one goat that figure out how to get out and after a while a second one would figure it out and then you're fixing fence again or trying to change it to where we keep them in. The second thing on my bucket list is to repair a uh, shed like barn is shaped like a barn has a loft up in it but it's in getting sad shape the sidings rotted off the sill plate around the bottom of the walls on one side or actually on both sides are uh, rotted away and the doors need replaced so my second list my second thing on the list is to repair that barn the third thing on my list is to fix an old Chevy truck that I have. It's a 1970 Chevy with a hydraulic dump box. And I'm wanting to get that up and running, get it licensed to be able to use it around on the acreage. Uh, I had Omaha standard box on it, which is a wooden side grain box, basically. Um, hydraulic tilt in it so I could dump dirt or rock if I wanted to so that's what I'm wanting to do is get that truck going so I could use that dump box around on the acreage help me haul wood and dump it out stuff like that the fourth thing on my list is to get some structures made so I can store hay I have a Kai baler and a BCS walk pine tractor and I put up quite a bit of grass hay and a little bit of alfalfa hay during the summer and I run out of storage. I have an old house on my acreage that I used to live in. That was there. That was the first when I bought the acreage. It was the house we lived in. And lived in it for quite a few years. And then many years later, my wife and I bought a house and had it moved in on our acreage, a big two-story house, and done a little remodeling in it and put a full basement underneath it and such. And the old house, we rented out. And after so many renters, it just gets run down where and renters are hectic and the house needs tore down but I temporarily use it for hay storage. So I'm wanting to get structures put up to put hay in, keep it out of the weather, keep it dry, so in order for me to be able to tear the house down and get rid of that. And the fifth thing on my bucket list is to get with my brother. I've talked about him in past video he's the brother that I'm pretty much the only one in the family really associates with or talks to and he had had a small business going he was building uh, portable band mills saw mills for cutting logs cutting lumber and stuff and he was building them and selling them well it's kind of a one-man operation and he couldn't keep up with the business and he got too far behind where he, he was having so many orders and he couldn't get them built fast enough and he's gonna, he was gonna quit, and then I had talked to him and said, well, let me help you build them. So I ended up buying a jig to make the frame of the sawmill, and he was gonna eventually teach me how to build the carriage head so I can actually completely build a whole mill. And I got the, the jig built and started building. I actually built one frame, and uh, he was gonna teach me how to do the carriage head. Well, then he had medical health issues, and. He was in the hospital off and on several times over a several month period. And when he got out of the hospital, he decided he was going to get called quits. He finished up a few mills that he had started and, and delivered them, got them sold, you know, whatever. And uh, he said to heck with it. He wasn't going to do it no more. His health was more important and stuff, so he kind of gave it up. 
Well, I'm wanting to get with him because he told me that well, I'd asked him about it and he told me that I could uh, go ahead and build the mills if I wanted to and sell them. That he was fine with that. Use his same design and everything. Just didn't want me putting his name on them. I had to put my own name on them or whatever. <clears throat> which was fine with me. So, my fifth thing on the bucket list is get with him and have him teach me everything I need to know so I'm able to actually manufacture these band mills and kind of get my own business going. So those are the five things on my bucket list. <clears throat> and there's two channels that I want to um, tag in this video to do this bucket list challenge. And the channels are Chet Simply Living and Cooper Family Homestead. Those are the two channels that I tag for this bucket list challenge. So if you're watching, please do the bucket list challenge. Chet Simply Living and Cooper Family Homestead. And the rest of you that are watching, if you haven't checked out those two channels, be sure and do that. There seem to be really good channels. I just recently subscribed to Cooper Family Homestead. Watched a couple of his videos. Very good videos. And he's just taken off. He's about to 86 subscribers. And Chet's Simply Living is uh, somewhere around there too. Maybe a little less. But anyways, they're fairly new subscribers. So let's all help them out. Go check them out and subscribe if you like what you see. Well, I'll let you guys go for now. And thanks for joining me. And I'll see you all in the next one. And don't forget, everybody out there, I love you. Bye.